辉之源之美誉。安庆师范大学，近代安徽高等教育的发源地，迄今已有一百二十余年的办学历史。地，迄今已有一百二十余年的办学历史。绿树掩映下的静夫书院和安徽大学红楼，是学校薪火相传、弦歌不绝的见证。一九七七年，学校恢复招收本科生。一九八零年，成立安庆师范学院，是全国首批学士学位授予单位。二零零四年，联合招收硕士研究生。二零零六年，正式成为硕士学位授予单位。二零一六年，更名为安庆师范大学。二零一八年。整体进入安徽省一本招生行列。二零一九年，获批博士学位授予单位的意向建设高校，学校现有龙山、灵湖两个校区，占地面积两千八百四十四亩，依山傍水，风景秀丽。学校设有十七个二级学院，七十二个本科专业。涵盖文学、经济学、教育学、理学、工学、管理学、艺术学等十大学科门类。现有十一个一级学科学术硕士学位点，十一个专业硕士学位授权类别。学校师资力量雄厚，现有专任教师一千四百八十余人，其中副高以上专业技术职称五百四十余人。拥有国家级教学名师、省级教学名师，享受国务院和省政府特贴专家、省学术技术带头人及后备人选、省晚江学者特聘教授等各类优秀人才一百八十余人。学校现有国家级一流专业、国家级特色专业、国家级人才创新试验区。国家级教学团队、国家级一流课程、国家级精品课程等一批“国”字号项目，教学质量得到教育部评估专家充分认可。五年来，学生在“互联网加”“挑战杯”“全国计算机仿真大赛”“全国大学生数学建模比赛”“全国大学生物流设计大赛”等各类大型比赛中。获国家级奖励一千二百余项。本科毕业生的就业率和考研录取率在全省本科院校中名列前茅。学校坚持开放办学，与二十五所国外高校结成友好合作学校，与美国中阿肯色大学合作举办信息与计算科学专业本科教育项目，教师交流，学生互派。学分互认等领域合作交流不断深化。学校是国家大学生文化素质教育基地，是教育部本科教学工作水平评估优秀高校，是全国精神文明建设工作先进单位，全国普通高校中华优秀传统文化传承基地，全国学校艺术教育工作先进单位。安徽省普通高校大学生创新创业教育示范学校，这里有最美的风景，这里有最悠久的历史，这里有最敬业的老师，这里有最醇厚的学风，这里还有最舒适的生活环境。我们期待你们的到来，和我们一起变成我们。这不是别人家的大学，这是你的大学——安庆师范大学。欢迎你！
Good afternoon, distinguished guests. Welcome again to our information session today. Uh, my name is Xu Yushan, and I'm a member of the admission committee at Anqing Normal University. You can also call me Sophie if you like. So on behalf of our university, uh, my colleague, Ms. Liu Fan uh, and me will deliver a presentation on the subject matter of basic information of Anqing Normal University and our international students' enrollment plan. So, um, as you can see, the four parts that will be addressed today are um, about Anqing Normal University, international students' admission plan, scholarship policy, key and the featured majors. So first of all, let's uh, learn something about Anti Normal University. Uh, it is located um, in Anqing, Anhui province. And one of the uh, regional advantages of Anqing is that it is in the Yangtze River Delta region of East China. So during the 180 years after uh, 1760, Anqing was the capital city and the center of Anhui's politics, economy, and culture. Nowadays, Anqing is a famous national historical and cultural city and an excellent tourist city in China. And as, uh, as was mentioned uh, in the video, uh, we have 17 colleagues and uh, 72 undergraduate majors, 11 academic master programs and 11 professional master programs. We also have faculty of 1,480 uh, and more than 70, uh, 27,200 full-time students. Besides, we have established the friendship and cooperation with 25 overseas universities um, in terms of faculty exchange, students exchange, teaching, and researchers. Now, uh, let's look into the details of uh, our international students' admission plan. So, uh, in terms of the bachelor degree um, majors, we have three divisions that enroll international uh, students. Uh, they are liberal arts, mathematics, sciences, and engineering, and arts. So among them, there are 28 programs in mathematics, sciences, and engineering division, uh, including computer science and technology, digital media technology, um, data science, and big data technology. Talents with those degrees are in high demand uh, worldwide. And there are 27 liberal arts programs, including TCSOL, financial management, applied psychology, uh, etc. And we also have 10 programs in arts division. So um, in terms of master degree programs, uh, we also have 21 of them. Similarly, in mathematics, science, and engineering division, we offer popular programs like uh, software engineering, economics and management statistics, information and communication engineering. Then you may wonder exactly how much money you have to pay to earn yourself a degree. The tuition of our programs, um, the bachelor programs, require 12,000 RMB per year, and the master programs require 16,000 RMB per year. You have also uh, need to pay the other fees, including interview fee, uh, RMB 300 per person. This fee is non-refundable once paid. Uh, in terms of textbook fee, you have to pay according to the actual costs incurred and expected to be uh, RMB 6,000 each semester. Any excessive payment shall be refunded and deficiency shall be repaid. Um, and um, when it comes to accommodation fee, uh, we require RMB 2,000 per year for a double room. Visa insurance, physical checkups, 
um, those kind of fees are borne by the ap applicant. So next, I would like to talk about what kind of students we want to enroll in our programs. Firstly, our basic requirements are the applicants should be non-Chinese citizens with valid foreign passports between the ages of 18 to 25 and in good health. Chinese of foreign nationality the ages must of provide 18 a to 20 of at least two years of actual residence in a foreign country during the last four years. Uh, we also have academic requirements. For the bachelor program's applicants, they should have completed all courses of the high school or equivalent degree. All the courses in the transcript should be passed or be completed with better scores. And for the master program's applicants, they have to complete all courses of the bachelor's degree or equivalent degree. All the courses in the transcript should be passed or be completed with better scores. And it should be noted that um, we also have a language proficiency requirement. The applicant should provide certificates of HSK, uh, HSK level three. Um, meanwhile, if that is not the case, they can also attend a one-year Chinese training program at our university. And if they pass all the relevant exams, they can also be the applicants to our international students programs. Okay, if you are interested in our programs, you should know that the first step for you to apply for our programs is to prepare the following materials and send them to our email address. Today, we don't have enough time to go into the details of those um, materials right now, but you can read them on the enrollment guide that have uh, been handed out to you. After that, upon passing the preliminary review, applicants who receive the interview notice must complete the payment of the interview fee, RNB 300, as we mentioned before, and uh, please attend the admission interview on time. For applicants who have passed the admission qualification review, Anqing Normal University will issue the admission letter and assist in the process of the JW201 or 202 form. Applicants will then apply for student visa with our assistance. Last, students who are admitted must uh, re register in accordance with the time frame required in the admission letter. So to create a better studying environment, we also uh, offer scholarship to international students. Here are two types of uh, scholarships, academic scholarship and accident student scholarship. Both uh, undergraduate and postgraduate students can apply, them, to apply for them. So firstly, let's talk about the basic requirements for applying scholarships. Um, they should be non-Chinese citizens and hold foreign passport and a valid visa. They should observe Chinese laws and school rules having no criminal records. And they should have paid the tuition fee and accommodation fee. In terms of academic scholarship, um, it is only for international students who study at Anqing Normal University at their own expenses. The award will be equal to the total of tuition fee and accommodation fee. Students who apply for the first time should meet the uh, basic requirements as we mentioned before, and those who are not the first time to apply should have passing scores for the courses. And next one is accident student scholarship. The amount of them are 
first class scholarship, three thousand yuan per year for top ten percent students. Second class scholarship, two thousand yuan per year for top twenty percent of students. Third class scholarship, one thousand yuan per year for top thirty percent students. And besides of the uh, base. Basic requirements. Applicants should also meet the following requirements. Number one, have studied in Anqing University for at least one year. Number two, have not received any other scholarships or grants from Chinese government or other organizations. Number three, have passed all subjects with good academic performance. Number four, have qualified Chinese. Chinese language competence, for example, HSK certificate for other Chinese language、uh, certificates, and the following factors will、uh, give the certain students priority in scholarship allocation. Number one, top level SHK score in the class. Number two, excellent results in academic competitions. Number three. Great achievements in academic researches, and、uh, great achievements in innovative invention, contribution to the university's international exchange course. So、um, we now can move on to how to apply for the scholarships. Firstly, you have to fill in the Anqing University International Student Scholarship Application Form. The schools and the scholarship reviewing council will review the candidates and application materials. When it、uh, moves to confirming process, the scholarship reviewing council will confirm scholarship recipients, and the office of international exchange and cooperation、uh, will submit the names to the office of student affairs to announce and award the scholarships. Now my part、uh, of this presentation is finished. Ms. Liu, please、uh, continue this presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sophie.、Um, host, it shows that it shows on the screen that I am not allowed to open my camera. So can you do some adjustments, perhaps? Host. Uh, Yi 老师。应老师您好，那边我我这边，哦，我现在可以了是吧？哦、oh, ，OK，OK，Thank、okay. okay, you， 啊、uh, ，Thank you Sophie for your wonderful、uh, presentation. So, ah,、uh, good afternoon, distinguished guests. Ah,、uh, I I am the I am ah、uh, Liu Fan, and you can call me Fei, and I'm also one of the members of the ah.、Uh, Admission Committee of Anqing Normal University. Okay, so next I want to introduce some of the key and featured majors of Anqing Normal University. So,、uh, generally, I would like to introduce four of the key majors in our school. So they are Textile, Logistics Management, Environmental Engineering, and Digital Media. Digital media technology. So first, Texo, and Texo is the acronym of teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. So this major started to enroll undergraduate students in 2004, and in 2021,、um, the School of Humanity to which this major belongs was granted to confer the Master of Teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. And it was awarded the Provincial Excellent Talents Training Innovation Project in 2020, and in the same year, it was honored as Anqing Normal University First Class Major. Major courses of Texo include Modern Chinese Language, Ancient Chinese Language, Ancient Chinese Literature, Language Pedagogy. Introduction to teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. So, if you are interested in Chinese language and culture, you can 
um, concern about, you can consider it, you can consider this major. And we have excellent teachers. Um, there are 10 full-time teachers, including four professors, four associate professors, and two lecturers. Seven of them have PhD degrees, and three have master degrees. One of the teachers was awarded Anhui Provincial Pro Promising New Teacher in 2016, and one was awarded Anhui Provincial Outstanding Young Teacher in 2020. So here you can see the certificates of the teachers awarded. And uh, here are the monographs published by the teachers, and these demonstrate the research achievements. So just as introduced, Taxo major belongs to the School of Humanity, and uh, this uh, college of uh, uh, the School of Humanity has organized various kinds of academic and cultural activities. So here is the International Forum of Chinese Literature Theory and Chinese Culture, which is uh, which was organized in November 2017. And students from Taxon Major also participated in some academic event, as you can see. So this student got first prize in the 2022 Anhui Provincial Chinese Teaching Micro Lecture Competition. And uh, the School of Humanity also has a special event. So this is the Cultural Festival of International Chinese Language Education. And this event has been organized for two consecutive years. And these pictures demonstrate the cultural festival. This is a campus-wide activity. So that means apart from the uh, Texo major students, so some uh, international students and foreign teachers and students from other colleges and, uh, and uh, schools can also participate in this event. About the graduate prospects, as you can see uh, from the figures, the employment rates are above the average level of Antinoma University overall employment rates. And uh, employers include schools on different levels. So graduates can go to primary school, secondary school, and uh, private schools to work. And the second major, uh, logistics management. And this major started to enroll undergraduate students in 2006. It became the provincial featured major in 2010, provincial first class major in 2020, and national first class major in the next year. And it is worth mentioning that in 2011, the School of Economics Management, to which this major belongs, was approved by CSL, uh, China Society of Logistics to be the integration base of education, research, and production. Um, you can see the certificate issued by CSL. So the major causes include logistics, purchasing management, transportation management, uh, supply chain management, logistics system analysis and design. So if you are interested in business and uh, logistics management, you can consider this major. We also have excellent teachers. Uh, there are 15 full-time teachers, including four professors, six associate professors, and three lecturers. Nine of them have PhD degrees and five have master degrees. And here you can see the general information about the teachers who have been, um, who have been given some honors and awards. And here are the pictures of some of the teachers' awards, including Anhui Provincial Teaching Achievements Award and National Excellent Teacher. And teachers have published a series of textbooks on logistics management. 
and students have participated in some competition activities. For example, in 2017, the students have been um, have uh, won the outstanding winner of the National College Students Simulation of Business Operation Decisions Competition. And in 2022, students have got the first prize in the third National College Students Logistics Design Competition. So in terms of the graduate prospects, as you can see from the figures, the employment rates are pretty high and just students will go to some national famous transportation and logistics companies. For example, uh, Shunfeng Express, Help Asia Logistics and other uh, famous companies. Okay, so uh, next, the third major environmental, uh, sorry, environmental engineering. This major started to enroll undergraduate students in 2009. In 2017, the School of Environmental Resources to which this major belongs was approved to confer master degree of environmental science and engineering. And uh, this college uh, was honored as the provincial key laboratory of research in biodiversity protection and ecological protection in the Southwest Anhui province in 2015. And in 2018, it became the provincial key laboratory of environmental protection and pollution control in the Anhui Wanjiang area. And the college has applied for the building of a PhD program that is environment and resources. And, and major courses include environmental engineering theory, environmental monitoring, air pollution control, water pollution control, and solid waste disposal, et cetera. So if you are interested in uh, environment science and uh, some other uh, related discipline, you can consider this major. We also have excellent teachers. Uh, there are 17 full-time teachers, including five professors, eight associate professors, and four lecturers. 13 of them have PhD degrees and four have master degrees. Uh, two of the teachers have won Anhui Provincial Science and Technology Award. One has won Higher Education Institution uh, Scientific Research Special Achievement Award. Uh, here are the certificates of the, uh, of the teachers' awards. So the teachers, have published over 200 academic papers and eight monographs and textbooks. And they were also, they also won nine granted invention patents. So here are the pictures of the uh, textbook uh, published as well as the uh, academic papers published in, uh, published on uh, famous international journals. And students also participated in some competition activities, as well as some social practice activities. For example, in 2017, students uh, got the second prize in the National College Students Energy Conservation and Pollution Reduction Competition. And in last year, uh, students visited Anqing um, Switch Disposal Plant. And these social practice activities are really beneficial for students to uh, to students learning and to gain some hands-on experiences. And in terms of the graduate prospects, so the average employment rate between 2019 to 2022 is clo uh, was close to 90%. And the employers include some famous companies in such uh, industries as manufacturing, information technology, uh, environmental protection and engineering technology. Okay, and uh, the next major, digital media technology, uh, which is also uh, a really uh, highly demanded, uh, the talents are really highly demanded uh, around the world. So this major it started to enroll undergraduate students in 2012. It became the provincial first class major in 2019 and national first class major in 2021. 
And in 2020, it became the Provincial Excellent Talents Training Innovation Project. So this picture uh, marked a significant event for digital media technology major. It participated in the construction of the first group of key industry projects in Hefei, vir okay, virtual reality town. And Hefei is the capital city of Anhui province. And uh, this picture demonstrated the contract signing ceremony. The major courses include digital image processing, virtual reality, UI design, interaction design, and game development, and so on. There are 10 full-time teachers, including one professor, uh, five associate professors, and two lecturers. Uh, some of them have PhD degrees and three have master degrees. One of the uh, one of the teachers has won Anhui Provincial Computers Society Science and Technology Award. And teachers have published some academic uh, monographs as well as uh, academic papers. Uh, as, as you can see from these pictures. And these papers have been published on uh, international journals. And students have participated in some competition activities. Um, 10 of the students' works have won the second and third, and third prize in a nice National College Students Computer Design Competition. And a student work, Silk Road, has won the first prize in college student science and technology innovation competition in 100 universities and colleges in Anhui province in the years of 2014, 2016, and 2017. So here you can see the picture of a student work. He designed a kind of training platform that is mobile communication virtual reality training platform. And the last thing about the graduate pro, uh, prospects. So the employment rates are also above the average level of AQNU's overall employment rates. And uh, students will go to some national famous information technology companies to work, including Huawei, Tencent, iFly Tech, and uh, some other companies. Okay, so that's all about uh, some key and featured majors in Anqing Normal University. And uh, we uh, welcome to our university. We are really looking forward to your coming and studying with us. Um, so here you can see the, you can see um, the email addresses, these two email addresses. So just as Sophie introduced this, uh, some about, uh, something about the application process. So if you are interested in studying uh, here, you can send uh, your application materials uh, to these two email addresses. Either one is okay. And uh, after seeing your application, we will try to contact you. Uh, thank you very much. Hi 
命的相遇，是一种奇妙的缘分。我经过一句话叫“学说中国话”，朋友便见笑。我会继续努力学习汉语，了解更多的中国文化，将我与汉语的缘分进行到底。叶老师，大家好，我叫阿玛尼，我来自阿拉伯，我已经在安庆师范大学学习了一年汉语，我很我很喜欢画画，我现在在学习呃美术专业，我在中国大概五年左右，遇到了很多呃中国朋友。我最喜欢是的，我最喜欢，嗯，朋友是的美丽，她长得很漂亮。我跟她学了汉语，她教我怎么写字，怎么读。她一直会，呃，她一直会帮助我。我们一起看了电影，参加了比赛，还有学了跳舞。我们如果有空一起去玩。打羽毛球，打乒乓球，一起喝中国茶。我很喜欢喝中国茶，还有吃中国菜。我会呃会做一些中国菜，比如粉丝、饺子、土豆丝，我觉得非常好吃。谢谢大家。นะครับสำหรับนักเรียนไทยนะครับหากมีคำถามก็สามารถาพิมพ์เข้ามาได้หรือฝากผ่านครูได้นะครับอ่า I don't have any more questions thank you very much for all the presentation thank you for the student from uh, Alabo uh, giving a good speech also I'll just show myself because because I was in the classroom with all other students um, it's really nice to know all the programs that your school has starting from logistics teaching Chinese And also media production. Um, hopefully, you will find a lot of students interested about this. Thank you. Thank you.
啊，你好，我刚刚才泰国学生问，我已经呃在聊天室那里留了那个问题，就是说啊，泰国学生这边如果他们具有 S K 四级、五级或者六级，啊，可以申请啊贵校的奖学金吗？啊，目前这样子。啊，韩老师，你好。啊，你好。啊，我刚才在留言区看到您的这个。问题了，我刚正准备给您那个回复，就是目前我们学校它是还是没有这个中国政府奖学金的，但是安徽省呢，它有这个留学安徽奖学金，就是如果学生他的、呃、汉语水平也很好，而且专业也很好的话，那我们可以向安徽省申请那个留学安徽的奖学金。好，谢谢。那哈，这是สำหรับในส่วนของมหาวิทยาลัยนะครับก็คือตอนนี้นะครับก็คือยังไม่มีทุนของรัฐบาลจีนที่อาจะนะครับสามารถที่จะขอให้นักเรียนเนี่ยนะครับขอได้แต่ว่าถ้าหากว่านักเรียนมีผลสอบ SK แล้วนะครับทางมหาวิทยาลัยเองเนี่ยนะครับก็จะมีนะครับทุนของมณฑลอันคุยนะครับเพื่อที่จะมอบให้กับนักเรียนนะครับ就是目前我们学校哎我们学校的它有这个奖学金的刚才老师点老师介绍了嗯นะครับแล้วก็เมื่อสักครู่นี้อาจารย์ก็ได้แนะนําในส่วนของทุนการศึกษานะครับว่าได้เท่าไหร่นะครับแล้วก็ถ้าหากว่านักเรียนมีความสนใจที่จะขอทุนการศึกษานะครับก็สามารถที่จะเรียกว่ากรอกใบสมัครนะครับแล้วก็สมัครที่มหาวิทยาลัยก่อนนะครับแล้วมหาวิทยาลัยเนี่ยก็จะเรียกว่าพิจารณาแล้วก็นําให้นักเรียนเนี่ยนะครับก็คือไปขอทุนของมณฑลอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะครับเชี่ยวเชี่ยวเชี่ยว Uh, the Anhui Provincial uh, Scholarship is similar to the Chinese government uh, scholarship, and uh, which will cover the tuition <coughs> accommodation. Uh, yeah, but uh, we also in our our university, uh, we also provide uh, the scholarship, which will cover the students' uh, accommodation and uh, the uh, tuition too. But uh, uh, which, if you are um, Uh, just as I said, that is a we we don't have the qualification for the Chinese government uh, scholarship right now. Uh, but we provide our own scholarship, uh, which can be, uh, and we have the chances to apply for the provincial, uh, the Anhui provincial scholarship. But if uh, you are admitted by the uh, Anhui provincial scholarship, which will you can, uh, you cannot enjoy the university's scholarship at the same time. So you can choose one one of them. Um, so I think that is if we provide the university scholarship, which will uh, guarantee will cover the basic expense for your tuition. 
and uh, uh, the room. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, if you still uh, want to apply for the provincial scholarship, we can um, we can help you to apply for it. I think um, we have a kind of uh, a special special thing that is which is different from other universities in China because that is we have a very special uh, program or major here. Is that, uh, this is the only one for May Opera uh, undergraduate uh, and uh, graduate program in our university, the so Hong May Opera. And uh, there is we also have a theater on the campus. So the students can enjoy uh, the Bombay Opera performance if the students are very interested in Chinese culture, Chinese traditional culture. And Uh, for master degree, uh, we need to, yeah, you need to uh, uh, provide uh, the uh, of course of, of first you need to graduate from the university first you need to provide a diploma for them. The, what do they what is the what do they were asked about that? Sorry, so my stay, my internet is not stable. So, did I miss something just now? Um, hello, excuse me. So can I provide some more uh, extra information about the uh, application of the master degree? So uh, if I understood in the correct way, so the students who applied for the master degree will need to provide at least two pieces of the recommendation letters from teachers in their uh, universities in their undergraduate universities. So uh, some, some associate professors or uh, professors will need to write the recommendation letters. So uh, the students, the applicants need to provide the at least twice a recommendation letters as one part of the application material. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We recommend that the students to live on campus. So we will provide a dormitory on campus. Uh, live on, uh, live off the campus is not recommended, and it's not a very convenient either.
，刘老师。Okay, so uh, here you can see the the document, the part of the document from my screen. Um, so here is the contact information, and if you have any questions, you can write emails to us, and we'll check out uh your emails and uh, give you some feedback. So I think uh, this might be the most efficient way to. Um, contact us. Thank you. Now, please take a screenshot.我这边学生没有了他们都明白好好可以退出了吗好谢谢您谢谢好好我会给他们发一个邮箱 好,谢谢您,谢谢您。好,好。拜拜。有问题了，没有问题了，可以。